Now to Tallahassee and the latest bill making the rounds of the new legislative session would help people take on media companies for reporting false information. If passed, it could also affect anyone posting online. Local 10's Glenna Milberg joins us with a closer look. Nicole Calvin, this bill picks up and literally runs with the governor's grievances that he has against the media. It did pass its first of three committee stops today despite a lot of public opposition. Waves in opposition, Madison Murphy. Waves in opposition, Sylvia Weber. Waves in opposition. The public overwhelmingly said no. The bill violates the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. But the first House committee said yes to a bill that would essentially lower the legal bar for defamation in lawsuits against journalists and news organizations. That is a very dangerous and slippery slope. Speaker's concerns, free speech, free press. Provisions will be used to try to crush critics of government policy. The truth's on the cutting room floor. We saw the prelude to the bill last month when the governor staged and anchored a TV-style roundtable with several people who had been maligned mistakenly by the media. As filed, the bill takes on selective editing of video and interviews. It would consider information from anonymous sources suspect, and it would remove proof of malice necessary in a defamation suit against media. So a journalist right now can say, Your Honor, I didn't defame them with actual malice. I'm just incompetent. And they would win the lawsuit. The bill sponsor suggests this bill will make a more responsible press. The bill could be entitled Journalism 101 because not a single journalist has said that anything in this bill um, would, would trigger their responsibility or liability. So that defamation bill passed that committee 14 to 4. Other news out of Tallahassee, also another House committee passed for the first time a bill, the Parents' Rights Bill passed last session. Another one, it's kind of a 2.0 that expands on that, that passed its first committee. This one would, it's the one, just so you know, what opponents call don't say gay. So this one would actually expand those restrictions on sex and gender education, not from K through three, but all the way till eighth grade. And it also would limit what teachers could say and how they could ask about a student's pronouns. That too passed its first committee, both of those right along party lines. I'm Glenna Milberg, Calvin Nicole, back to you. A legislative session for the history books. Glenna, thanks a lot.